Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Tournamental, the podcast where we create a bunch of crazy characters and we have them battle in a bunch of wacky rounds until there is only one victor. My name is Chris Nash, and I'm joined, as always, by my pals, Jay Jameson. Hello. Cameron Hart. Cameron Hart. And Russell Montgomery. Hi. I just want to remind everybody that this episode of Tournamental is brought to you by our other game, Impossible Spelling Bee. <clears throat> Here's an example. Jay, try to spell this what? word. Okay. Okay. K H U G G A T. Okay. K-H-U-G-G-H-U-H-K-G-G-K-K. Very close, but incorrect. Now you ask someone else a question. Okay, Cameron. Uh huh. Can you spell the following? <laughs> okay. All right. So that was E Q E E X X E U U M. You're way off so far. Would you like to hear it in the sentence? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would, please. Um, my wife was trying to carry a laundry basket down the stairs, but she tripped over the dog, <laughs> landed on her uh, solar plexus, and yelled, <laughs> I believe so, that's exclamation point, exclamation point. I believe uh, that's how pretty you spell close, that word. but uh, not quite there. All yeah. right. So thank you, everyone, for listening to Impossible Spelling Bee, coming to you <laughs> soon. Man, we got to order a copy podcast. of that game. We should just bail on this podcast and just do that one now. It's a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah. I would listen to that for an hour every week. <laughs> so, why don't we come up with some uh, characters for the old tournament, huh? Sure, that sounds good. Yeah. Somebody else go first this time. I'm done being first. <laughs> what? But it's alphabetic. Oh, yeah. is that how we do it? Alphabetical. Oh, I... yeah. It'll, things will just All right. unravel. Re- all let's go apart. reverse alphabetic so Russell can start. Oh. Can't Jay, you can do this. You, you can manage this. <laughs> you can figure it out. My first character is a lawn jockey. You know, one of those little garden ornament <laughs> jockeys? Just that. Okay, not a Wait, lawn Okay, hang on. Though, like right? it's, it's not a lawn dome. Like, there, I've never seen one of these before. It's like a horse jockey, but just a miniature one that's standing on your lawn? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a thing, right? They used right? to be really racist or something, right? I what? don't see why. What? He's a jockey. <laughs> oh, okay. Jockeys okay. can be any race. <laughs> yeah, but they used to all be painted black or something. Oh. Anyway, don't worry about it. Maybe, maybe just in Jay's lawn. neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, really yeah maybe. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wait, can this lawn jockey move around and talk and stuff? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. All right. Um, my first character is an audience-suggested character, uh, Giant Tiny Tim. So it's Tiny Tim, but <laughs> so he's still crippled, but he's huge. Like he's like he's famished too, tall. right? What's that? He's famished, right? Oh, he's extremely hungry. He hasn't had a good meal in his entire life. <laughs> Unless it's Christmas Day, but it's not. Okay, my first character is named Terrence Tenderloins, and um, he is uh, Terrence Howard, the actor, but he has extremely uh, tender genitals from being kicked. <laughs> Wait, who's Terrence Howard? Uh, he is um, a-, a man of color. He was in the first oh. Iron Man movie until... Apparently he was a big baby about it, and then Don Cheadle became I, uh, well, black man whoop, tenderloin. Yes. Black man. But he's, he's in no way he's in no way like a, a tenderloin steak, right? There's nothing about him that's a tenderloin steak. No, his mm. loins are tender. That is all. That's that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> okay, um, it's too bad. All right. Well, at first, before I go, I would like to jump into Jay's defense here. For once in the history of tournamental, I actually want to defend Jay for a second. Uh, I googled lawn jockey, and the first several. Uh, have black face like I don't mean they look Whoa, man they, they they look like they don't they don't actually look like a, a black person looks they look like a white person painted black in the face like it looks like they have yeah, black well face. answer me this can you see Jay's dad in the background cutting his lawn <laughs> or anything no, like no that? I can't no there's none of that sometimes when I say something's a thing it's actually a thing <laughs> but only sometimes okay so uh, he is he is gonna be that lawn jockey okay. the racist the, one the, the, the racist <laughs> lawn jockey okay cool <laughs> All right. Um, so then, for my character, uh, my first character uh, will be the Hezbo Lama. This is oh, yes. uh, this is a Lama who is a Muslim extremist. Uh, <laughs> is very militant. Okay. Uh, next character, 
Jessica Alba with Vern Troyer as a head. <laughs> <laughs> so not Vern Troyer's head. No, his whole body is... This is so her neck... Of the neck? Yeah, probably like his... Uh, the small of his back is where mm-hmm. her, her neck ends. And for those who don't remember, Vern Troyer was the little person in those Austin Powers movies, right? right? That's yeah, true. mini me. Yeah. Uh, my next character is... Uh, James Earl Joan in a luxurious armchair reading the iTunes terms and conditions. Now, you said James um, Earl at... Joan. Yeah. Did you mean Jones? I, James Earl Jones. Okay. Sorry, I meant to say that. Yeah, James Earl Jones. If he stops reading the iTunes terms and conditions, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> For ten... Yeah. My character is very similar to Russell's, actually. We didn't... We didn't know this at all, but uh, his he had Jessica Alba with Vern Troyer for a head. I have Megan Fox with a rotten watermelon for a head. <laughs> and it just has, like, a, a neutral face kind of painted on. <laughs> so, like, a straight line and two little eyes? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. My next character uh, will be um, Hayden Christensen. Boo! Uh, but it's sorry, it's, it's, I'm it's, booing him, not you. It, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's his birthday. <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's his birthday today, not today. But, okay. You know. Oh, okay. Uh, next is Waluigi. Oh, I forgot about him. Wait, what is that? Straight up? Yeah, just Waluigi. He's like he's like the Wario version of Luigi. Oh, okay. purple. He's really gangly, evil. <laughs> Waluigi! <laughs> That's what he says? Yeah, yeah he does actually say I that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, my character, uh, this actually, I played an offline uh, tournament yesterday, last night, actually, and this character won very soundly. We'll see how it does today. It's a refreshing Coke Zero with ice. <laughs> just took the yeah. tournament by storm once again russell and i are thinking along the same wavelength with uh, the mario theme uh do you guys know who lakitu is he's the guy yeah, who has yeah, that the cloud, little cloud. Guy, right? yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and he's hucking stuff out at you uh this is jeffrey dahmer inside <laughs> lakitu's cloud <laughs> Wait, so okay. he's in he's in his cloud? It's not yeah. like he's in his whole body? Okay. No, he owns so, the cloud and he can like fly around and do oh do stuff. Jeffrey That's... Dahmer, the serial killer, also cannibal, is that right? That is correct. And he flies around in a little cloud. Wow. <laughs> and That's it's terrifying. Bad. That's yeah. really, really bad. Throws spiky uh, turtles at you and stuff. Yeah. Okay, uh, my next character will be uh, Emma Stone. Uh, but she's only able to speak in like Facebook statuses, like the stuff that people post to their Facebook that's like kind of inspirational or kind of stupid or usually dumb and everybody hates it. That's the only <laughs> way she's able to communicate. Okay, and my last character is He Ping Ping. All right. Uh, for those of you, <laughs> for those of you who don't know He Ping Ping, he's a real person. He's from uh, he's uh, Chinese. Inner, Inner Mongolia, I believe. Yeah, but he's a Chinese citizen, and he is in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the world's shortest man. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. The shortest man who is able to walk. Apparently, there's shorter people who can't walk. Okay. Like babies. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, now, my last character is a character I suggested before in our normal sauce episode, but it got shouted down uproariously. But um, today is his day. It's Dr. Porkenstein, the mad scientist pig. Uh, There's nothing you guys can say or do to keep this pig from being in the tournament. Uh, All right. Thank you, Jay, for your submission. (sighs) Mm -hmm. My final character is uh, an audience-suggested character from Vanessa. She suggested Howie Mandela. (laughs) It's the body of Nelson Mandela, personality of Howie Mandela. (laughs) I hate all that. Okay, um... My uh, last character will be uh, Kim Kardashian, uh, but her skin has turned very cornflake-y. Oh. It looks like a bunch what? of cornflakes. Dry cornflakes or soggy cornflakes? I was I, I thought I originally thought dry, probably dry. I guess. Does she also taste like cornflakes? Yeah. So if I flake some of her skin off, is it just going to be like blood underneath, like a wound, or will there just be more cornflakey skin? There'll be like sort of a, just a bare patch of some skin until the cornflakes grow back, you know, in the next few minutes. Okay. Uh, so, but, you, but don't be clear, Lair. They are not cornflakes. They taste like cornflakes. They look like cornflakes. Uh, 
They are. This her is skin. gross, Cam. This is a <laughs> this is a gross character. Well, okay. Let's just say that maybe I had planned on introducing as my next character Doctor Porkenstein to dupe you because I wanted to really badly, <laughs> uh, and then you did it on your own like an asshole. So I had to go with my Dr. backup character, which is stupid, 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 stupid Kim Kardashian. So yeah. don't be too harsh. All right. Well, hey, let's get uh, some questions going then. Uh, my question is, who would you trust to measure your inseam? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Are, do you also have to trust them to make the suit properly as well, or is it just stuff to do with your junk that you're worried about? Uh, it's it's about your junk, but also to get the proper measurements of, of your mm-hmm. suit and stuff. Um, now, my question is a bit of a controversial question. We've played it before in offline tournaments, and it's gotten, uh, it's produced some questionable results, but uh, we'll see what happens today. It's the question, who should die? Ooh. <laughs> so the character <laughs> that is the worst, who who you'd rather have die is the character that advances. Oh, right. Man. I feel like we, we dance around that issue a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's characters. true. In mm-hmm. different scenarios, so it's nice to finally address that, I guess. I have a question I'm nervous about, because I might get shut down real hard. It's... Okay. <laughs> the question, is this character Beep or Borp? <laughs> oh, what? No. Uh, no. Some things, Absolutely some things are Beep. I hate every second of that. Some things are Borp. <laughs> now, Jay, you understand. No, no, Jay, no. Jay, you yeah. understand, yeah? I- yeah, oh, but how, I, I how can you better than how anyone. can you choose a winner with well, that question? Here, let me give an example. Exactly. Let me give an example. So, like a freezy, in my opinion, that's beep, right? Yeah, that's. Beep. But like a popsicle, borp. Uh, I don't know, man. For real? Okay, yeah, I think, I think that's beep the worst well. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Both beep. I'd say like I, a I bun a is a borp. To make here. <laughs> yeah, one of them being. Who who advances the beep or the blur? Yeah, that's the big question. <laughs> I didn't think it through. Also, how, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how do you question. clearly get to advance, Nash? I don't think you thought that through. I'm gonna, also, I'm gonna... if I if this question is so likable to me, then I think that that's a bad sign. Yeah, and I really like <laughs> yeah, the question. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put that on the back burner, but mark my words, it will return. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring it up in a way that you guys won't even be able What's to What's your question? Down. My question is, um, who would make a better hostage negotiator? Oh, okay. I like that. That's good. All right, uh, my question will be, with whom would you like to sail around the world? So oh, oh that's good. you have good. them as your uh, shipmate, and you've got to sail a ship. A mm-hmm. skiff, skip, skip. What do you think? What are you saying? Thing? <laughs> is it a skiff? What's a skiff? I don't know any boat terms. Wait, isn't a skip like a person on a boat? If his name if his name is Skip, sure. Wait, Skipper, Skipper, that's from Gilligan's Island, right? Yeah, it's a baseball. I just made it was a small boat. I was trying to say research. Trying to say small boat, guys. Okay, well, okay, (laughs) small boat. So uh, we've got our our scenarios. We've got our characters. Let the tournament begin. First question: Who should die? Kim this Kardashian. is gonna make for some freaks. Yeah, <laughs> Kim Kardashian with cornflake skin versus Hezbollah. Oh, <laughs> that's also bad. Hezbollah. Because Hezbollah could go on to do some terrible things. Yeah, he could potentially. Okay. Yeah, he's, uh, but, he's, uh, he's got a few he strikes against though. him. He hasn't, right? I yeah, I'd say he's a, a newer recruit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what uh, Hezbollah has done lately. I just really liked wait, the wait. sound of the name. I said it to myself out loud while I was walking to work, and I giggled. <laughs> so I researched them to see whether they were Muslim or Islam, and that was kind of the extent. So here's my question. Can the llama, does the llama know what it's doing? Or is it just a llama that's been kind of thrown into this situation? Mm-hmm. Just kind of no, like, no, I had pictured him, I had pictured him as being, yeah, he knows what he's doing. Th- okay, this guy, now, like, the, you now, say he's... I, he should die. <laughs> well, like well, let's just—he's a llama, right? first because of all, he's... so he's not a human being, and he's also a member of a Muslim extremist group that has been prone to violence. I don't know what their thing is currently. I think that they're actually a political party now, uh, but yeah. they, um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that it uh, so would be best for him to. Is he uh, in it live. for the terrorism, or is he just like maybe he gets good benefits and like a company car? 
Why is I was he... wondering if he was just in it for like the grass, okay. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I understand <laughs> that this is stereotypical and uh, uh, unfair and racist, but I had pictured him like standing in the desert holding an AK-47. So, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, Whoa. Well, he's mem- it's not like he's just any guy. He's a member of Hezbollah, which is a Muslim extremist group. He doesn't even have group. hands, Cameron. He doesn't even have hands. <laughs> How is he holding this gun? If they got straps on the AK-47s. He just put it around his neck. <laughs> So he's like a guard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's as he's yeah, as violent. Right, he's as Cam. violent as he'll, as he they'll let him die. be. Yeah. So I, okay. I think he should probably die. If if I were in charge of the the Hezbollah, I'm not. But if I were, I would not be giving AK-47s to the Lamas. <laughs> <laughs> I would just kind of give them to the guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably want. Nobody to be thinks. Uh, Kim Kardashian should go, huh? She's pretty yeah. vain, I guess, uh, so she's not going to be ha- real happy about her newfound terrible, terrible disease. But you never know, it might like actually make a really um, interesting person out of her, you know? Like, uh, through her suffering, maybe she'll become no. somewhat profound. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not with Kanye okay. West whispering in her ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hezbollah. Okay, sweet. I bet Kanye West... When they go to bed at night, I think he just whispers in the ears and stuff like, I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. probably. Don't you love me? <laughs> yeah. Try to oh remind her. He's probably just doing okay. that to himself. He doesn't even need to tell her. He's just going <laughs> like, he already me, does that me, when me, he sleeps me, alone. Me, 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 <laughs> He's got a lot of mirrors in his head. <laughs> yeah. Same question. Who should die? Howie Mandela or uh, Jeffrey Dahmer in Lakitu's class. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. Jeffrey... <laughs> He's oh, going to go on to Jeffrey do some Dahmer? bad things if yeah. you don't put a stop to him. Well... <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> well, I mean... What? Let's just explore the options, right? <laughs> <laughs> the other Howie one is Mandela. Nelson Mandela, right? He's like he's he's mostly Nelson Mandela. He just looks like Howie Mandel. He looks like or Nelson the Mandela. Way oh, yeah, it's the other oh. Way oh, okay. Still, so, I heard Howie Mandel is an extreme germaphobe. He is. Well, yeah, he has some legit OCD problems, but I think he's a nice enough guy. Right. Yeah, he, but dri- now... he drives me nuts, but I don't think that he should die. Re- uh, compared Guys, to me. Jeffrey Dahmer is a cannibal. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> we should really have moved yeah. on already. I feel. Bear with me. Nelson Mandela is supposed to be dead. Right? He's dead. Now, if all of a sudden it looks like he's up and walking around, that uh, might put some fear into a few people. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Russ doesn't care. He should yeah. die. Jeffrey I... Dahmer should die. <laughs> Just playing devil's advocate here. You don't I feel need. like the surprise that Nelson Mandela is walking around would result in fewer people getting killed and eaten than would having, what's his name, have a cloud that he can float around on. Yeah. Okay. You guys have swayed me. <laughs> Lon Jockey, uh, super racist, right? Or yeah. Black fa- He's not racist. He's a f- no. No, figment he, of he racism. A, yeah. A product of racism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, blackface long jo- Lon Jockey. Versus Emma Stone speaking in Facebook statuses. <laughs> I, I like Emma Stone a lot. I don't love Facebook statuses. Matter of fact, they're one of my least favorite things. Yeah, me yeah. too. I get really, really irritated on a regular basis by most people's Facebook statuses. <laughs> Sorry, everybody who's my friend <laughs> on Facebook. Uh, but your, your statuses usually irritate me. I, to yeah. the point where you want to take their lives? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Not if they look like I'm a stone or <laughs> Yeah, I, I would put I up with more with quotes. Yeah, I agree with Jay, and I do not apologize to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my I think my least favorite thing apology. about them is that I uh, I consistently like am like yeah this one's gonna be different. This one's actually gonna be inspirational. I'll read it and be inspired, and then it's awful every time. It's yeah. always uh, every complete time. dreck. I hate every moment of it. But there's more coffee jockey. with the hubbies. You know, that kind of... Anyway, what were you saying? The hubby is plural. <laughs> you, you distracted me. <laughs> I was going to try to make up one of those stupid <laughs> statuses that I hear all the time. Anyway, but then you started saying something. What were you saying? Uh, well, I want to talk about this little lawn jockey. Um, do people want him to die? No. <laughs> but, no. So you guys want Emma Stone to die? This little <laughs> lawn jockey is not going to live super long, right? Why? He's made of ceramic. So he's not human? No. Dead. Dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> well, he's, like, sentient, right? Yeah. Like, he's, he like, is. Pinocchio. He's basically a 
real boy. Yeah. What, if, what do I care if Pinocchio's alive either? <laughs> I don't know. Kill That's another too. question for another time. I would modify it for this one, I think. I could, yeah. Yeah? yeah? I do feel, I feel like I'm siding with it's Nash tough. here, though. Uh, Emma Stone, regardless of how irritating her speech would be, is made of flesh and bone, and somehow that sort of tips me in her favor. Uh, but, yeah, I, I could modify if, if you All right, if you sounds like a modifier. Uh, the lawn jockey has lobster hands, and Emma Stone is uh, person times five. <laughs> well, I don't want to kill five people. Yeah, I'm going to kill that lawn jockey. Maybe because he's pincing yeah, at me. Yeah, he's going to pince me. He's going to pince you out. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, you guys didn't know this about lawn, jo- lawn jockey, but he was coming after the guys who made him and put him in blackface, <laughs> and it wasn't going to end well for them anyway. <laughs> who should die? Hayden Christensen on his birthday. Yep. <laughs> or... <laughs> yep. <laughs> so or... for uh, people who don't remember, Hayden Christensen was the actor who played Anakin Skywalker, right? Who everybody hated, who was a big part of ruining the that second trilogy. Uh, him or Jessica Alba with Vern Troyer for oh, a head. Goodness. Oh, boy. I think that freak thing needs to yeah die. he's really offensive <laughs> Vern Troyer yeah is yeah. he oh, yeah like, check oh. out his sex tape I shouldn't have said that <laughs> now people are gonna do that um it does sound like a, a monster yeah maybe yeah, because sure it's, it's a Hayden's monster. birthday you know maybe that <laughs> you know yeah, yeah this yeah. freak needs to uh to perish so wait he's and he's it's it's his like mind in there too. It's not Jessica Alba's mind. No, it's Jessica Alba's mind. Oh yeah. So then he wouldn't be offensive anymore. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't be offensive like it, how he is kind it, of gross. And... It would have his voice though and stuff. Oh, oof. It it would be it's... offensive in that it wouldn't be easy on the eyes. Absolutely not. And he's naked. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so it's like the whole Vern Troyer. It's not just Vern Troyer's head. Like it's his entire body. Yeah. It's yeah. Like he's oh my standing God. where on her where neck. Jessica's. Yeah, exactly. Where her neck ends would be like the top of his butt <laughs> oh my god we've got to kill that i'm sorry that needs yeah. to go and of course by kill that you mean move on to the next round yeah, yeah of course yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> um he ping ping oh versus giant tiny tim tiny tim excuse me giant what tiny did, tim did you, what, what was the first thing you said i think it, it's a giant giant Tim. No, no. I thought you said giant Tim. <laughs> you, you definitely said that. Giant tiny Tim. Well, that is a good character. <laughs> Maybe another. Can time. we change it, please? Well, giant, for giant anybody Tim. who's listening who doesn't know why I flubbed that up, it's because Russell is showing us all pictures of Vern Troyer topless, and it really threw me for a loop. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Giant, Looking giant right, Tim. right into the camera too, right into my soul. Okay. Okay. Giant <laughs> Tiny Tim versus whom? He Ping Ping. The smallest man in the world versus presumably the largest. I wouldn't want to put Tiny Tim out of his misery because that was like the thing that could have happened in Christmas Yeah, that, was, that would have been That was really, really the core substantial portion of the conflict in the movie. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, man. More food for everyone else. I guess if if Tiny Tim were that giant, I, he would starve the rest of his family. <laughs> well, <laughs> but at the end of the by. movie I guess we got to figure out what part of the uh, story we're at. Because at the end, he was like a partner, and he food lo- afford lots of food for Tiny Tim. Yeah, he's got his salary doubled and stuff. I don't know. I feel like we got to go with classic, emaciated, <laughs> crippled Tiny Tim. So who are you guys killing off? I don't know, man. This is tough for me. Well, got- I'm leaning toward He Ping Ping, because he died young anyway of natural causes. I think because... Also, Nash, you were telling me that he used to wrestle cats or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah house cats. <laughs> okay, so he wrestle... like has a bit of a, a bit of a death wish already. <laughs> he wrestled so... house cats, and he would walk underneath ladies' skirts because he could do that. <laughs> <laughs> and he would also smoke like forty cigarettes a day. <laughs> okay, all right. So, whereas yeah. Tiny Tim is a wonderful human being who just wants, you know peace and goodwill on earth and all of those great Christmassy things. Uh, Nash is showing us or Russ is showing us a picture of He Ping Ping right now. If you haven't already you should probably Google him because he looks like a baby. <laughs> much it's just a, a baby who I'm being told is really a man. So... <laughs> I feel like if I spare his life, he's just going to live 
He's just not gonna live very long anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm gonna... I would I would kill He Ping Ping. Okay. okay All right. Put him in a garbage okay. bag and just. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Unless you don't always need to volunteer that information about how you would kill them in sadistic ways. Uh, I yeah. feel like that's the most humane though. Well, I mean, let him finish. How is that the let most humane? Finish. He kind of trailed off. No, that was it. Just put him in a garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Wow. wow. Waluigi or yeah. James Earl Jones reading the iTunes uh, terms and conditions aloud. Hmm. It's really easy to kill him, right? Just make him stop. Oh, yeah. And then he dies. Yeah, just kind of like take the computer away from him. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> ben. Ben. Well, Luigi's probably really tough to kill. Yeah. Well, yeah, you don't have to... Up. Yeah. It's who should die, so oh, you're not worried right. about that's having right. to right, kill right, them, right. them yourself. What? Well, Luigi, I don't know, seems to die all the time. It's no big deal. He's that's a villain. Yeah, he is a, yeah, he's a villain. villain. He's a very uh, irritating character, yeah, for sure. Even yeah. the name irritates me. Yeah, they he's... really didn't think that one through very well. <laughs> no, they didn't put very much thought into it. He's super, super inconsistent, too, because he's, he's named Waluigi, but he wears an upside-down L on his hat. <laughs> so Stupid. So, uh, should he die? Yes. yes. Yes, he should die. <laughs> All right. Uh, who should die? A uh, nice, refreshing Coke Zero with ice mm. or Terrence Tenderloins? <laughs> now, if you drink this Coke Zero, is it dead? I think to make this Coke Zero dead, you just kind of have to, like, step on it or kick it over or something. Or, like, just <laughs> let it or evaporate. Drink it. I don't know. Yeah, let it evaporate. And I don't think it would be the end of the world. If I could yeah. drink it at all, if that, could, that could be a part of it, that would be also great. <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah, I'd drink it. Yeah, it should obviously die. All right, and finally for our final uh, matchup of this scenario, who should die? Dr. Porkenstein. Yike. Or... Yay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Megan... Yay, Dr. Porkenstein, yay. Megan Fox with a rotten watermelon that? for a head. Could you kill her like a... Uh, like Gallagher guy? <laughs> with Smash. a giant mallet? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you could. That would probably be the most appropriate way. Yeah, I'd do that. She's a freak. She's got a rotten watermelon. Tell me more about Doctor Porkenstein, whom I hate. Oh, okay. Just... So, you, it, you guys, okay, you, uh, okay, you, you have a probably a pretty good conception of Doctor Frankenstein in your mind, right? Oh, not the actual monster, but the yeah, yeah, doctor, actually, yeah. the scientist, the mad scientist who created Frankenstein. It's basically that in the body of a pig. He's got a cool lab coat and stuff. So is he digging up other pig corpses and, like, sewing them together? Trying to make a pig Frankenstein? Uh, pig, yeah, pig, I guess. I never uh, thought about that. But, yeah, I guess he's making pig Frankenstein monsters. Uh. Sounds like he should probably die, right? <laughs> no, I got no problem with that. <laughs> sounds, sounds like you guys don't like him very much, and he should die. He sounds uh, like an admirable man. Uh, no. Probably, probably <laughs> no. contributing to, to society in a lot of great ways. Yeah, that is, I is that why myself. you were shouting about him all the time? Is <laughs> because you thought he was so admirable? <laughs> Well, until I no. knew that it was just pork on pork research, and it wasn't pork on man research, it might have, you might have swayed me. I think well, he, I, don't know. I think you, you are right, Jay. I think he is fantastic. Well, 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 well. I, I mean, he's playing God, right? Well, you heard yes. all you heard all the people shouting as soon as I mentioned his name. Yay, Dr. Yeah. Porkenstein, we love well, you. <laughs> you know, I agree with them. Let's uh, uh, let's not kill him. I did hear them. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Wait, who's who's got the watermelon for the head? Megan Fox. Megan Fox. I think she has like a weird thumb or something. She does have a, a weird finger. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> what? Yeah, so maybe uh, she should. Die. Is is her head gonna like slowly rot? It's already rotting. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it, it is. It's right, begun right, to right. rot. I forgot. My apologies. That's pretty bad. That's yeah, bad. Almost seems like that should go so, away. So like five minutes ago, everybody hates Doctor Porkenstein with every fiber of their being and now that he might have a chance to move on to the next round everybody's like oh yeah he's an okay guy come on guys <sighs> well on. jay you achieved the impossible in turning one of your characters into a lovable person that we all really want to see succeed i think you should be upset with your own don't, prowess don't try to sugarcoat this for me guys i i, actually, I know what's going I on i actually here. have to play devil's advocate here for a sec i do feel like we are Affecting the integrity of tournamental. If we, if Wait, we, am I the devil? Yeah, yeah, you're the devil. Yes. Yeah, you yes. are. Sa I'm, I'm likening okay. you to Satan. Um, okay. Anyway, the 
if we're uh, you know saying that all of a sudden we like this guy or have changed our minds. Like we're saying that we'd kill a human being, albeit a very deformed human being, before we would kill a, a monster pig who creates other monsters. That is true. I mean, we were just kind of teasing Jay. Uh, obviously, well, in my mind, uh, a pork a pork man <laughs> <laughs> needs to go before a human. And I guess she is human, even though she has uh, fruit for a head. Rotten fruit. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Porkenstein should probably die. Yeah, I guess he probably should. Okay, now, having played devil's agree. advocate for a second and said all that and defended Jay for the first time, seriously, guys, fuck Dr. Porkenstein. <laughs> <I hate this. laughs> well, well, well. You know, yeah, yeah. Now I mean, that he's on to the next round, I don't want you guys to be too hard on him. Is he on to the next round? I believe yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It seemed okay. like it was... It's not unanimous, though. I'd pick Megan Fox. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, then man. I'm changing. I didn't pick, I didn't pick Porkenstein. So what okay, do you I'd pick Jay? Porkenstein. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk about the in- yeah, integrity of Tournamental. So, we, uh, we're on to our next scenario. Who would you rather sail around the world with? Uh, we have Hezbollah versus Jeffrey Dahmer in Lakitu's Oy. Cloud. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> Well, you got a you got a nice little cloud with you. That's yeah, weird. but he, the guy might climb out of it and eat you. But uh, that, yeah, that's true. That's bad. But he has um, <laughs> like a fishing rod too, doesn't he? Yeah. He could just get catch you some fish. Yeah, but I think he's more interested in catching <laughs> yeah. you. I think he's significantly also he doesn't need me or I'll my sit him boat. Down. He can just fly around the world in his little cloud. Yeah, he's just kind of hovering over top of you ominously. He's gonna join you. I think he's gonna eat you. If you're at sea with Jeffrey Dahmer for any prolonged period of time, he's going to eat you. Okay, what if I tied him up and I took the little club? <laughs> well, that would, that would make your sailing a lot more fun. Yeah. Yeah. The llama, though, I mean, he's incapable of much violence. He can't, it's not like he can shoot that gun he's got around his neck or anything like that. Now, can he talk? I forgot already. No, I, no, I didn't think so. Oh, okay. So he's not, like, always calling me an infidel no, no, no. or something like that. I don't know. My money's on Jeffrey Dahmer. No. Hezbollah. <laughs> I would rather yeah, I would sure, rather sail around the world with Hezbollah for sure. I think I would too, but just barely. Yeah, I guess Jeffrey Dahmer doesn't really go too far in things like this. <laughs> no, probably not. No, Popularity probably not. contests. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, who would you rather sail around the world with? Uh, the little black face lawn jockey, or Jessica Alba slash Vern Troyer's body on her neck? Oh no! But only on her neck. Yeah, right? guys. Now, Neck it's going to get lonely out at sea there. <laughs> oh, Guys, it's going to get lonely. On. Hey, now. It's going to get lonely. Let's be mature here. Yes. We could put a bag over her <laughs> terrible, terrible Von Vern Troyer head. It's going to have to be a big bag, like a duffel bag. <laughs> no, it won't. Isn't he small? He's really small. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Uh, still, though, it, would be, it wouldn't be very fun, but it would be a better companion. That's no. a really disturbing scene you just painted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I would be involved in that. <laughs> I, I don't think I think this lawn jockey would be quite jovial. I... He's probably got a bit of a grudge. Now we've established that he's not racist, <laughs> but he is mad because his creators were racist, right? I think yeah. so. Yeah. He's gonna be and being. He's gonna be a bit being of... a white guy myself. You know, I don't know. He might not. Uh... I don't know. I'm not racist. I don't. He, <laughs> if he no. if he's not racist and I'm not racist, I don't think he's gonna have a problem with me. Maybe That's he's racist. Point. But I thought we decided that he's not racist. Okay, yeah, he's not racist. Now, is he going to be upset that he doesn't have any horses to ride around? It's just a lawn jockey. Yeah, he's a jockey. He's probably going to be in, be upset that there's no lawns to stand on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like, whatever it is that makes him him is not going to exist on this boat, right? No lawns, no horses. No. What does he do? Just holds up that light. Probably. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to say. They're light. always holding up the little lantern. Yeah. Like, that could be helpful if he has a little lantern. Also, if he's made out of ceramic, he can't drown, so he can do things like jump into the water and get some fish. I don't know. He can sink. But he's, he's very... Yeah, he can oh, sink. Yeah. He's very small. <laughs> He'll probably just sink. He, uh, but... I, you need to be a full-size person to sail. I don't know much about sailing, but most sail rigging is designed so that people of average size can. That's true. I mean, he, he wouldn't be super helpful, except, you know, my... Two non-racist white friends here said that he could stand at the front of the boat and hold up that lantern the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, well, that's you know, does. <laughs> probably that's his thing. Probably can't contribute in any other way than that, though. Hey, I'm gonna be standing at the back of the boat with a lantern, so 
Well, at least you're not putting him at the back of the boat. Equal opportunity. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that. that's true. <laughs> that is um, true. But wait, who is he against? He is against uh, Jessica Alba, that camera oh, is trying to plug, yeah. uh, and Vern Troyer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm Listen, going man, long jockey. He is long, don't, don't, you, don't judge me. You're sa- <laughs> yeah, you're sailing around the entire world, guys. That is yeah, entire... thank you. Thanks. That is, that is sick. Why is it, why is it sick? A naked midget for a head. Self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah, but we know that this character exists in the world, and it is what it is, right? Maybe it's not as beautiful as, say, some of these other ladies we see walking on the street, but still, Jessica Alba needs love, Cameron is providing love, and I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Long Guys, jockey. come on. I'm with Cameron 100%. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Long maybe job. we need to modify... Seems Guys, straight down the middle. Come on, she's, between okay. Look, the perverts I get and it. It's not nice. She's got her own brain in there. Uh, she's yeah. It's 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 unbecoming, but it's not a ceramic doll that is going that is going to fall into the ocean and drown. Like we said, come on. Hey man, I'm with you. <laughs> no, preaching to the choir, bro. Modify. You yeah, yeah, modify. Choir. Whatever. Stupid choir, is that what you said? <laughs> you don't mutter That's stuff That's what I muttered under breath. my breath. That's not what I said. So the lawn jockey is a condom refuser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jessica Alba is covered in ants. Oh. <laughs> you don't want that. That's a weird That's, They're going to eat up all your food supplies. That sounds like a Salvador Dali film or something. Yeah, oh. that's weird stuff. Is it weird that that makes it better for me yes yeah <laughs> yeah that is weird man yes. tell us about that i don't know i just i think it would be a really surreal situation that i want to be a part of wait, not so for you're the saying reasons this... that you want to be a part of it wait oh just so you're sailing. not saying that the sex would be surreal okay you're saying... let, let's be clear that sex was never a part of this question you put that into this question you're on a boat for a real long time <laughs> I'm saying it's going to get pretty lonely out there. There's other ways to take care of things like that. Also, she'd be able to help. She could reach stuff and do things. The ants are going to be everywhere. You know yeah. how annoying that is? I, I'm switching because of the ants. I'm, my food. Yeah. Wait, they're going to be on my food. Now, Russell seems to be switching over. No, I'm not. I'm okay. Not. So, who would you rather sail around the world with? He, Ping Ping, <laughs> or Waluigi? Oh, no. <laughs> he, Ping Probably Ping... Good wouldn't be good for any work. It's like asking a baby to rig a sail or something, right? <laughs> you would probably just sit there and smoke and while you're swabbing the deck or something. Yeah, and he seems like awful to me. Very dirty man. He checks runs and looks up women's skirts and stuff and beats up cats mm-hmm. apparently. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the kind of company you'd want to keep. Yeah. I'm not sure that he speaks the same language as us either. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. Now, but Waluigi, Waluigi is evil. Yeah, he's bad. He's bad. Now. Yeah, there's the evil thing. <laughs> <He's very> evil. <laughs> but I don't I think he's like too he... harmful. Yeah, he's I, largely you know, he really incompetent. I, I guess think he might he's be. Gonna be trying to kill you. Kill? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> no, Mario, B- Mario villains are a lot more about thievery. I what? Think. what? Thievery? <laughs> yeah. What are you man. talking about man? <laughs> when has <laughs> Mario ever been robbed? <laughs> <laughs> they rob all the every stars time he loses his coins. Yeah. That's how what's um, all Mario games are are, are about, oh, aren't they? They're, or, or the, about stealing the princess. Yeah, that's, that's like the Koopas, though. I think. Yeah. Plus, it's kidnapping. Yeah. When it's yeah. a person. Yeah, I guess if mm. he showed up back, to, like we were in a port somewhere, and he showed up back to the boat with like the local princess, like, come on, come on, let's get go, come on, we gotta go. <laughs> that would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. That'd be news. a bad situation. Well, I, he, I'm still pretty torn, though. If he kills, I don't want to be with him. You know, I'll go on a trip with a grown baby or whatever before I go on a trip. Yeah, with a guy or who's or someone who kid, kidnaps uh, princesses, you know, with uh, other subtext intentions. The baby guy, the guy who's made of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who's made of babies. Okay, what what about you guys? Yeah, I'm gonna also go with he. Ping I'm he ping. ping ping all the way. Really? Okay. okay. What, Luigi. All right, I'm on the fence, but it's three to one, so that's fine. He ping ping. Alrighty, and finally in this round, uh, who would you rather sail around the world with? A nice refreshing Coke Zero with mm. ice. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Just one though, Coke right? Coke is gonna run show. Yeah. What's that? It's just one. Yeah, I guess so. 
I don't. I don't think it would regenerate or anything. So you really love this Coke Zero. You also love its competitor, Doctor Porkenstein. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh man! I'm interested in hearing what you're going to choose. My, well, my choice is Doctor <laughs> Porkenstein, but <laughs> I mean, why? It just sounds like a bunch of fun. You know, you're out there on the high seas with a mad scientist pig. It's a it's a weird dream come true, but it's my dream come true. <laughs> Am I out of line for saying it sounds very, very awful? <laughs> yeah, I would really? say that that's the case, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you guys could always, like, stop at just a, a local cemetery and he could cobble together some, some more friends, maybe some more deck mates to do, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, to every do time all the ship work. At, whenever we stop at a port, is he going to find some nice porcine friends for me to eat later on? <laughs> yeah, he might, for sure. that sounds pretty good. He's probably going to bring back a lot of pig parts onto yeah. the boat whenever you make port. Yeah. I mean, they well, might be... Jay, like, I'm going to say that in uh, your entire trip around the world, you're going to have to probably forego things like bacon because you'll uh, very much offend your, your shipmate. I don't... Yeah, you think? Yeah, I think Well, if, so. he, if, if he was eating slices of fried human with breakfast, would you be okay with that? Yeah, but I'm the human. Like, if he has a problem with it, I could just kind of, like, kick him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he's a pig. I can just kind of kick him away, kick him in the face. I You're talking about fine how much fun it. he would be as a companion, and now you're going to like <laughs> eat his friends and kick him? Well, he's up in my business about things. He doesn't seem to respect the life of a pig anyway. I think he would be fine. No, he doesn't yeah. respect the death of a pig. Yeah, that's right. Cam's thing. <laughs> I just want to drink that Coke. <laughs> yeah, I want the Coke, but I wish there was more than one Coke. Yeah, but it would because be... Because then I'm on a trip... By myself for the rest of the time. It'd be yeah. nice for the first few Pretty minutes, sure for you're sure. by yourself anyway. It's a good way to start your voyage, that's for sure. Guys, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I'm Coke Zero here. I mean, this Porkenstein sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. He is a disaster waiting to happen, that's for sure. But, modify. Uh, yeah, modify. Hmm? Modify. So, the Coke Zero is Dalmatianed. <laughs> it already is. Black and white, you mean? Yeah, it's got splotches of different color on it or okay. in it. Okay. It already does. Versus Dr. Porkenstein, who uh, wears sticky bandit gloves. <laughs> like from Home Alone 2, where Marv was stealing kids' yeah. scarves and mittens and stuff. That would probably help him not fall off the... Uh, yeah, it'd help him not slide off the deck. Change anything for anybody? No. Not me. All right. Modify a game. Coke Zero is Dalmatian with a cobra penis. <laughs> Still sound refreshing? I don't know. Dr. Porkenstein has sticky bandit gloves and bull horns. Oh. <laughs> so, if yeah, you try to take a sip is... of this Coke Zero, I think you're just... You're going to get bitten in the neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With intense Wait, venom. hang on. Oh, I get it. It's like... <laughs> I thought it just had like a cobra's penis in it, but it oh. actually has like a penis that's a cobra. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that sounds pretty yeah, that, bad. Yeah, I don't think good. I'd like that. Yeah, Dr. Porkenstein? Yep. Yeah, that's what it sounds uh -huh. like. It's, that's the one. We are on to the next round of scenarios. Uh, is this character Beep or Borp? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, hang on. <laughs> no, well, man. First, no. No. Yeah, Hezbollah. <laughs> No. Nah. Wait. No. Yeah, no. For the record, though, Hezbollah is totally a Borp. Borp, exactly! Yeah. See, yeah, Borp, we're man. on the same page. Yeah. Lawn <laughs> jockey, beep. Oh, big um, time. Big time big beep. Big time beep. Anyway, who would make a better hostage negotiator? Hezbollah? <laughs> Not likely. Versus <laughs> lawn jockey. I feel like the Hezbollah is going to really just inflame the situation further, especially because it's carrying a loaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it can't speak, so all they'd hear on the radio is whatever sounds llamas make, which I think is just kind of like a series of little grunts and stuff. Yeah. Probably, like a... <laughs> I think essentially it's just a llama walking into a hostage situation and giving the villain a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> I didn't have an assault rifle before. This is perfect. <laughs> Thank you, helpful llama. <laughs> so, Lon Jockey, he can talk, right? Or could he not? Yeah, I he think can talk. so. Yeah, well, that's a big advantage. Yeah. You could probably sneak into it, too. Sneak in there because he's so small. Well, you don't want to sneak. If you're a hostage negotiator, you want to be up front. 
Oh, because you're a hostage negotiator? Well, you don't want to sneak in there and be like, hey, guess what? <laughs> Give everybody up. <laughs> no. That doesn't sound like sneaking to me. We, you, we just want to say, hey, I'm here. I'm with the police department. What can I do for you? You want that helicopter? No, this is my real face. It looks like black paint. <laughs> this is the way I was created, etc. You don't want to sidle up to somebody and be like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I'm going with the lawn jockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah lawn me jockey. Too. Yeah. yeah, same. Same question. Who would make a better hostage negotiator? Hey, Ping Ping or Dr. Porkenstein? <laughs> Uh, Man, why is this character still here? Hmm. I, I don't think I don't know. Either, in either scenario, the the uh, the villain is probably going to be pretty shocked and confused. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, "Oh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna send in our hostage negotiator. Just uh, keep everything safe here. Don't do anything rash." And then the a, 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 man. a baby smoking a cigarette <laughs> wanders in. in. Yeah, what do you say? Like, it's not going to go well. Hey, Nash, Nash, can I hear you racistly imitate Asian language again, please? What do you mean racist? I was saying something that you didn't understand. Uh-huh, yeah. I was doing, uh, yeah, I was being a hostage negotiator. Right. You're racist yeah. for not knowing Chinese, Ken. Oh, that's yeah, cool. check out Rush Hour 2. It's in there. <laughs> Go get your Rosetta Stone for Inner Mongolians. <laughs> Come on, Cameron. Get with the times, man. It's 2014. <laughs> You're right. I should have gotten to that. Yeah, okay, I learned my Mongolian by now. What's Dr. Porkenstein going to do? Well, Nothing he, good, right? <laughs> I don't. He can talk, of course, but a lot of the stuff he says is like, you know, my creation, and that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, he might make a freak descend into the situation, kind of like a proxy or something. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a really terrible. Sounds bad, man. Send a zombie into a hostage situation. <laughs> well, if he gets, uh, you know, if he gets blown away, then, you know, whatever, big deal. Send the next one. Yeah, that's his disrespect for life that I'm. I don't want to be involved in a hostage situation. Something gets blown away, yeah, I throw in another one. I I think I'm gonna choose he ping ping just because he's less intimidating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the whoever's in charge of the situation, the villain, is gonna feel like even with this hostage negotiator in here, he can probably do what he needs to do. Doctor Porkenstein is smart. He has a lab coat. Those are two things. Uh, I'm going to say that this hostage situation is in North America somewhere, so Dr. Porkinstein does have the uh, advantage of speaking the same language. I feel like that's going to be the mm-hmm. A number one. That's going to be a what real good negotiating step up, is being able to actually speak and negotiate in the first place. <laughs> Let's just consider that there's more Chinese people in the world than any other type of people. So more than likely, the well, villain is probably going to be Chinese. Were, is that what you were thinking before? Were, were you thinking that this was going to take place in China? Because that makes a huge difference. Well, guys. I, I, think, he ping, I think he ping ping. Yeah, I also think I'm ping, Dr. Ping. Porkenstein. Because at least there's some kind of communication going on. It's going to be bad. It's going to make it worse. Yeah, man. Yeah, so much of, uh, of what we convey to other people is body language, right? He pink pink's got it in <laughs> spades. But he has so little body. <laughs> so <there's... laughs> yeah. yeah, so he makes it all count. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I'm voting Dr. Porkenstein, and I think for the right reason. He disrespects life. Yeah, I think I'm also no, voting Dr. Porkenstein. No, I don't think so. He takes... He... He what? doesn't take life; he gives it. That's it. So he didn't. He doesn't kill anyone. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, what, his that's thing kind is of that true. he cobbles together human body parts that he finds in the grave. Wait, to... humans now? <laughs> okay, no, I'm thinking of. Okay, never mind. I guess it was always pigs, but he cobbles together <laughs> dead things to make new ones. He he makes <laughs> he makes dead things new. I don't like it. I don't, like, <laughs> I don't trust it. I don't yeah. know about all this. Cameron? Um, I think I'm going Dr. Porkinson on this one. Only oh my I... goodness! Come, Come on. on! What? You, <sighs> haven't re- you haven't made a real good case for, what's his name, He Ping Ping yet. Convince me about He Ping Ping. I'm only doing it because he doesn't seem like he can speak the language that where our hostage situation is. Wait, but before we go any further, it's funny that his name is He Ping, right? Yeah, I was thinking the okay. same thing. He's <laughs> a He Ping okay. portion of, of Gusto. <laughs> to help the situation. All right, let's friggin' stupid modify. He's cute. 
He's not cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen him? He's looking like a like a drugged out baby. All right. He Ping Ping uh, has five thousand. He has a five thousand dollar gift certificate to Bass Pro Shops. Ooh, that <laughs> so, could be <laughs> tempting. <laughs> I guess he could buy a big net or something. Well, he could <laughs> offer it to uh, <laughs> to the bad guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know. Uh, Dr. Porkenstein is nude. Ooh. So he doesn't so have that, no uh, longer that has cool, a lab coat. cool lab coat that you see. <sighs> Jay said that this guy had two things going for him. <laughs> <laughs> and now one of those things is taken away. Well, I feel Whereas... like if he shows up, you know, the, the guy, the criminal, is going to be like, oh, well, at least I'm talking to a professional here. No, he's, he will he's not. Wearing that lab he will coat. say, <laughs> yeah. He's already freaking tweaking out. He's he's in a terrible situation. He's looking around. He's like, Whoa, man, why, why is a talking pig here, man? Why talking pig here? What's going on? It, he will not be calmed in any way by the professionalism of a talking pig. A naked pig. <laughs> a naked talking pig who's uh, taking up, scooping up dead people from the ground and trying to mash them together. <laughs> I feel like he, if he just picture he ping ping strutting into the hostage situation, smoking a cigarette, all cool, so cool, and just handing the bad guy a gift certificate to Bass Pro. Five grand, man! That's Five thousand dollars. That's what you call a bargaining chip. You can get guns there. You can get guns. The bad there. guy wants guns. I think it's worked process. on me, guys. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Take a hike, pork man. <laughs> I'm still voting Porkenstein because of the English language and all that. All right, everybody. So we have made it to our final scenario. Our two contenders are a lawn jockey in blackface or He Ping Ping, the world's smallest man. Our question is, who would you trust to measure your inseam? <laughs> Yo, man, they're both tiny. Yeah, they're both, <laughs> they're both already right there. He Ping Ping, as I mentioned at the top of the podcast, has experience kind of just walking underneath people's clothes and looking up and really peering and seeing what he can find. Yeah. Might be an advantage. Lawn Jockey already has his arm outstretched. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he could, he's, he's fully animated, yeah. right? He can, he but can is whatever. he holding that lantern still? Is he going to light my pants on fire? I think he'd put it down and or oh, okay. pick up a measuring tape instead. Or Who has the better style themselves, you know? Or who's going to be better at pants? Probably the lawn jo- jockey. Well, the lawn jockey's, jockey's got some... Those, jo- these guys got some nice pants. Have you seen them? Have you looked them up yet? They, they do wear good. specialized pants, but they don't wear your kind of pants. It's true. It's possible he's never worn proper pants. <laughs> he probably hasn't. I guess hasn't. he probably hasn't. Mm. I guess he hasn't probably had... I, we've said he's ceramic. I guess he probably hasn't any... Uh, fabric at all in his life he may have no clue what pants are <laughs> yeah he's like oh you can take those off that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> huh he ping ping is not known for his style he's known mm. for being a baby man he ping ping yeah he just seems kind of obnoxious he's got the it factor and he knows it <laughs> <laughs> he's that's what the it factor is i always wondered yeah, what that meant <laughs> wow i, I, I had no got. idea that's what that was now, although he's slightly less trustworthy, I I would like to see and meet him. Yeah, I I'm, I think I'm gonna vote for him. Cause... Yeah, being that he's a human being, <laughs> has worn pants, knows what pants are. Sorry. All right, what is it? I looked at a close up of his face. <laughs> <laughs> for me man yeah long yeah. 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 yeah 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 me too <laughs> okay oh. long jockey oh. wins oh, oh, long jockey wins thanks for listening yeah thanks everybody <laughs> thank you <laughs> do yourself a favor and google he ping ping <laughs> <laughs> okay I think we need to wrap this up everybody uh, thanks yeah, for yeah. listening <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> I think Nash had to leave the room. Okay. You can find all right, us all right, all right. Um, on iTunes. If you ever want to find us again, which I doubt you do, but if you do want to find us again, <laughs> okay. we're at tournamental.podbean.com. We're at uh, Tournamental Pod, and we are, uh, yeah, Tournamental Podcast on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. We're going away now. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Okay. See ya. Hey everybody, just a reminder that everything in Tournamental is fiction. Any actual names of celebrities or copyrighted characters that appear in the show are used for the purpose of parody only. Also, any opinions that we express in the show are solely for the purpose of the game world and may not reflect our actual views or beliefs. Thanks for listening. We really do love you.